Hello there, young science enthusiast! It's me, Teacher David, your learning buddy as we explore another lesson filled with fun and learning in Science 6. We are now in the second week of quarter 4 and in this video, I am going to help you identify and enumerate what to do before, during and after an earthquake. After going through this video lesson, you are expected to number 1. Enumerate what to do before, during and after an earthquake and number 2. Show appreciation about the importance of safety precautions to observe before, during and after an earthquake. Earthquakes do not happen by chance. They often occur unexpectedly. Earthquakes are due to the movement of the plates of the earth. Earthquakes can be hazardous, especially if we are not prepared because they can happen anytime and anywhere. It may cause losses of lives, properties, livelihoods, and may even affect our health status. Knowing the precautionary steps to take during earthquakes and other calamities can greatly reduce the danger and worries in the family. It can also protect yourself and your loved ones. Take note of the changes that occur before and after an earthquake in this picture. Before we proceed to our lesson, let us have a short review of our previous lesson about earthquakes. Read the following statements. Write yes if the statement about earthquakes is true and no if not. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Are you done? Now, check if your answers are correct. How's your score? Did you get 4 or 5? Great! I am sure that today's lesson will be easy for you. If your score is 3 and below, I suggest that you take this lesson seriously for you to learn more. Natural disasters are frightening, but an earthquake is unique because it gives no warning. Therefore, it is important to know what to do before, during, and after an earthquake happens. Take note of the following summary of what to do before, during, and after an earthquake. What to do before an earthquake Make a plan of where to meet your family after an earthquake. Familiarize yourself with the safety exits and safe area of your school and house. Fix heavy furniture, cabinets, and appliances to the walls or floor. Keep flammable materials, breakable items, and toxic chemicals in a safe place. Make sure you have an emergency kit at home. Learn how to turn off the gas, water, and electricity. What to do during an earthquake. 
keep calm. If you are indoors, stay inside. If you are outside, stay in an open, filled area. Duck, cover, and hold when you feel an earthquake and wait for the trembling to stop before going out. Stay away from anything that may tend to fall, such as unfixed cabinets, glass, windows, and others. Evacuate the building and go to an open area away from trees and electric posts. What to do after an earthquake? Check yourself and others for injuries. Turn on the radio. Wait for instructions from the authorized government agency. Stay away from damaged buildings. Stuff might fall off the building or the building could fall on you. Move away from the seashore and go to a higher place. A tsunami might occur. Be prepared for some aftershocks. Thank you for listening and for participating in our activities. This time, let's do the following activity to test if you remember some key concepts from our discussion. Identify whether the activities described should be done before, during, and after an earthquake. Write do or don't on a separate paper. Check if your answers are correct. did you get? If you got a score of 8, 9, or 10, congratulations! I am sure that you remembered a lot of ideas from our discussion. If you got a score of 7 and below, it's okay. You still have a chance to perform better in our next activity. Before we proceed to our last activity, kids, 
remember that preparation and proper information on what to do before, during, and after earthquakes could greatly reduce the dangers it can bring to us. Being prepared can help protect ourselves and our loved ones. It's quiz time! We shall now assess what you have learned today. Use everything you learned while watching and listening attentively in this video. Read and answer the following questions carefully. Write your chosen letter on your answer sheet. Are you done? Now check if your answers are correct. What score did you get? If you got 10, congratulations! Great job! You learned well in our lesson. If you got 8 to 9, very good! Keep up the good work, children! If you got 7 and below, you still did well. Anyway, you can still go back to the discussion in the video and watch it again. Never lose hope, children! And that is the end of our lesson for today. I hope you had fun learning while watching and listening to this video lesson. Until our next lesson in science, keep safe and have a happy day.